don't go in there. They're having the let's try to figure out what customers want meeting again. It's gotten a little weird. Signups are strong, but adoption of key features remains stagnant. What do you do? We got our first job PR. Yeah, we have to. I, that's our only yeah. choice. Okay. We cast merge on the PR for the new dashboard. Oh no. Your actions have caused the company to go viral for the wrong reason. <gasps> God. Oh. oh no, what do we do? Roll for initiative. I can't not. New features shouldn't be left to a roll of the dice. Use DevCycle to ship with low risk and instant rollbacks. Unrolls, rerolls. How do we make this into a dice pun? Hello, world. Hello, internet. Hello, everybody. Hello, Parth. How's Hello. it going? How are you, Andrew? I'm doing fantastic. Hello. I always love these streams. Today, more than ever before. Um, why? Because we're doing something uh, near and dear to my, to my heart. I don't know if I should admit that live on stream using AI to do all of my work. Um, yeah, it, it's going to be a good day. Also, these are some of my favorite streams. And I know I say that about all the streams every time that I do it with somebody. But I really do love these. We just get to play around with cool dev stuff, which I think is like the best part of this gig, hey? Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. Um, um, I need to remember this time, though. I need to throw on our little lo-fi in the background. There we go. Yes. We got it. I got some music. Maybe night driving. Yeah, we'll do some night driving. Some nice chill, chill background music. Um, by the way, welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we got viewers everywhere. We got viewers over on LinkedIn. We got viewers on YouTube, viewers on X slash Twitter, because I'll never stop calling it Twitter. I got folks on on uh, on. I think I said Twitch already. Most exciting thing though is for the first time uh, we are also um, simulcasting to the DevCycle um, Instagram page. Did you know the DevCycle had an Instagram page? Uh, I ask. Probably not, but we do, um, and we're streaming there today. Uh, so if you want to try something new, you can head over and uh, yeah, say hello to us over there. Um, I have no idea how comments or anything work there, but please, please come, come and say hello. Um, what do we got in store for people today, Parth? What's the, what's our plan for today? And then how are we going to actually accomplish said plan? You already gave it away a little bit, but uh, yeah, we're going to use AI to do some feature flagging for us to see how good actually AI is or has gotten and if it's actually viable or not to use some of these AI tools for our use cases. And I uh, think that's kind of like the overview of things. Uh, but we want to do some stuff with Astro as well. So that'll be fun. We are. Oh, I didn't even mention Astro and stuff. Um, yeah. So if you are brand new to the channel, welcome. Uh, you are here at DevTools and DevCools where we decode the helpful from the hype. Because uh, there's lots of hype. Uh, in this dev tool world in which we live. Um, and that hype is especially um, eminent, or preeminent, evident when you think about AI um, and AI assistance and AI tools. And our good friend Devin, who is not Devin, um, I guess, or wasn't quite Devinish. De De Devin, his Devinness was not as it all as it appeared. Um, so uh, we, we said that we were going to do something different this time, though, right, Parth? We were going to ha have an agenda that we'll yes. have up on the screen. So let's uh, let me get our let me let me share my screen here for a second. Let's get this up here. Entire screen. Do I want to live dangerously? I'm not going to live that dangerously. Nope. We're going to live just window by window dangerously. Window by window. All, All right. right. Let's go. Uh, let's get let's get Parth and I in a different view. I like this view. I like the like bottom corners view. Although this might not work for our agenda, so maybe we'll maybe we'll do this for now. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do a new file. And shout out to the one and only Mr. Brad Van Butte for doing this, showing me how he did this when he used to do these like live streams. Um, thank you, Courtney. Uh, 
We're digging it. Shout out to Canva for having an awesome stock background collection that we're able to use. Um, also, uh, I feel like I found our brand colors. Like I really do part feel like this is us. Like we have figured this out. We figured it out. It's a red versus blue every day. Every it's day day. honestly, when you say that it, it's, it has like a lot of things related to robotics as well. Like it's always red, t red lines versus blue lines. So it's like red versus blue. This is what I did for you. This is why, this is why I did yeah. this part. I was like, I was thinking first robotics at all times. I'm also finding like these different co-streaming brands. So like later on today, I'm streaming with uh, Will from One Signal, And like, we've kind of found like this blue, yellow kind mm -hmm. of color scheme. But anyways, I'm liking the brands that, uh, that we're finding now, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for, uh, and can I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this first file, save as, we're gonna save this as agenda.md um, and let's do our pre. Okay. All right, so let's go for our uh, dev tools and dev cools agenda run of show. Shh. Uh, yeah, let's just call it agenda. Okay, so what do we got first? We got our introduction. Look at that, look at, talking about AI talking about ai i love this uh all right what do we got up next agenda thank you <laughs> thank you ai for telling us what we're doing right now uh yeah. what all right what do we got next dev tools what do you think it's gonna guess next part uh probably dev cools let's see yep all right i don't know what comes after dev cools let's see conclusion, conclusion. Ah, all right fair. Yeah. uh i mean it's not entirely wrong but i feel like we can go a little bit deeper than this because we're gonna do like are we actually gonna do like an intro to feature flagging today too like just actually talk about it like we yes let's do that i think it's a good way <clears throat> good way of just like kind of re like redoing the whole what our feature flags idea I love that. All right, because yeah, that'll that'll help for later on. Also, I don't know why I'm doing this as links. Why I don't know why it thought it thought that I had links. It's like I mean, it's, it's trying to make a markdown document. Maybe that's, that's true. Not. Oh, that's true. It's trying to do a table of contents, right? Mm -hmm. Which totally makes sense. But I sh we're having none of this. We're having none of this. Copilot. All right. Dev tools, dev tools. All right. So we're gonna do an intro to feature flags. Uh, we're gonna do uh dev our dev tools section uh and then our conclusion i love it so official um and i think dev tools we're gonna look today at can i can i not tab this that's so oh, you'll need to do space space and then and then oh there we go now got it yeah there nice you go. okay uh so we're gonna do for dev tools we're gonna do uh, I mean, we can start, I guess, with, uh, GitHub Copilot. We'll do some chat GPT. We're going to, what else are we going to do, Parth? Uh, perplexity. I think that's the perplexity. That's the that was another one. We're also going to try Gemini. Gemini. That's, that's the one. That's the other one. Gemini. And then maybe Microsoft Copilot, but technically Microsoft Copilot is... ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot, but yeah. we'll see. Uh, not Power Toys, Copilot. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. We'll at least get through, I think, the first four here, and then we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to go, oh, I got two threes here. I got four, five dev cools. We're going to look through, I think we're just, I feel like this should just be our trend, is like, we'll just go through, um, what's the newsletter that, that we follow? TLDR. TLDR. We'll just go through TLDR and actually look for some interesting things. And if you don't follow the TLDR newsletter, uh, it's pretty awesome. Like I'm pleasantly surprised every time I get it. And normally I've been, I delete newsletters and I've actually gotten to the point where if I can't read these, I'm just putting them into a folder for later. Um, Cause like I genuinely, every time I look at them, like it's great. It's a good, it's a good read. Um, all right. So this is going to be our, agenda for today i'm gonna figure out a way to put this up like on the screen somehow mm -hmm. i think i've got i think i just need to do like a layout i might do it as you're explaining feature flags but are we yep. feeling are we feeling good about about this path i think that's good uh i think if you want to 
add another thing in there after oh. Kobali can add Claude. Oh, that's right. Maybe then... Claude over Copilot. Because I feel like we're yeah. seeing Copilot. Maybe we'll just say Claude. Uh, mm -hmm. I like this. I think this is good. So yeah, we're going to go through these. Um, and then in here, we're going to look at like, I think there's two things. And I thought of this yesterday mm -hmm. um, uh, or this morning was the idea of like adding flags and also like grabbing a file that has a bunch of feature flags in it and then doing it for like code cleanup too. Because yep, I feel like yep. that's the conversation that we're having a lot recently is like, mm -hmm. I need to clean up feature flags out of my code. So I don't know, maybe maybe it's just removing feature flags from code. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's great. Uh, you forgot something. What did I forget? In there. I did. So this is yeah. the question, right? So mm -hmm. like, I don't have an... So if we are just going to focus on taking away, then we can't do the Astro project. Well, you know what? Let's start with Astro. If we'll figure perfect. out what we're going to do. We're going to start with Astro. Uh, and then we're going to explore all these things. Astro is going to be like our feature flag sample project. Yeah. We can see how that goes. If not, we always have our... We always have our uh, trusty dandy. Dandy. So true. Probably so yes. true. All right. Uh, this sounds good. All right. Yeah. So why don't Great. I let you take over screen share slash if you need screen share to explain what feature flags are. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to try and figure out a way to get this up on our screen. Uh, so I'll, un I'll unshare for a second, stop my screen share, and I'll let you let you take the lead as I do some background stuff. Sounds good. I'm not going to be screen sharing. I'm just going to talk out of okay. it. Uh, but feature flags are essentially the a new feature delivery uh, like way. The, the way I actually always explain it is like it's a way of delivering features to your customers without having them re like installing the app. So the idea is you can always have your features available in the code and you can turn them on or off depending on if something's breaking, you can turn it off. If something is like kind of tested, fully tested, everything's there, good to go, then you can turn it on. Also allows you to ramp up uh, rollouts instead of just like turning it on for everybody. Something breaks, now you have to revert commits and go back and do all of that like uh, fun stuff that we don't really like doing. So it's like kind of going, uh, makes like feature delivery pipeline a lot easier and uh, yeah, I think that's the, that's how I would like to like say what feature flags are, and uh, the way you can actually use it is uh, our last stream, open feature, great way of uh, incorporating feature flags into anything you're doing, uh, and I think uh, what they have there, like the whole setup around using feature flags with any provider, is a great way of kind of doing it. Is like essentially they're just like toggles, like if statements on or off, but being able to control those if statements per user is where like the like granular target granular targeting and everything comes into play and i think that's where uh the that's where you see like the more in-depth uh use use cases of feature flags and uh just uh like i i guess that's it i don't know what else to say no that's amazing uh okay. you've said it all uh but i'm too slow i've got like I've got my thing. I'm almost there. I've figured, I've figured out how we're going to do this. Yeah. I had to like go into can I'm doing like live things in Canva. Oh, that makes more sense. If I do that there and then I'll put us below. Oh, look, I've figured this out. I figured this out, man. I've got this. This, this got is what it. DevTools and DevTools is all about. This is what this is all about. Live editing uh, mm -hmm. document on Canva. And I also don't need to remove the DevCycle logo, although it should be smaller. Let's make you a little bit smaller. I mean, we, we know we know where we are. We yeah. know where we are. Uh, okay, let me share this one. Share and then download. And then let's go. Where are you? Current? Current page. By the way, I got to say, like, I don't know if you're a big Canva user, uh, Parth, but I have, like, this platform has, like, changed the game. It really has. I haven't used, I haven't used it much, but I do know that it makes, like, life a lot easier and like yeah. a lot like having your content in one place is always a great thing oh 100 000%. all right we got our agenda there so that's you know what would be cool Andrew? What? what if we had let's say if i had the red background with the dev cycle logo and you had the blue background with the dev cycle logo like as our like virtual backgrounds and that'd be pretty cool 
I mean, we can make it. Uh, okay, so, so, I actually have these as backgrounds that we can add. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna oh, share really? them in Slack. I'm gonna share them in Slack. Oh, okay. I actually, I got, I, I, I did this, but I was like, nah, nah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna have the, we're, this isn't, this isn't what we're doing today, but we are doing it today. So they're not exactly the same colors, but they're like pretty, they're pretty similar. All right, okay. uh, that's, that's let's, go, let's go current page, download. And then I'll do current page, share, download, current page. Oh, no, current page. I just want current page. There you go. Done. Download. All right. Did I actually get, okay, sick. All right. I'm going to send this in here, Parth, um, upload. All right. Downloads. I love the people that are watching. This is the joy of live streaming is you cannot prepare at all and then just do it live on camera and it's all part of the show. Yeah, do it live okay. on camera. Let's uh let's update our backgrounds. Uh edit, name and headline, edit. How do I add this? Settings. Oh, do we need virtual. to go like back? What do you mean? Know. Do we need to go out of the like I don't think so. To... No, 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 just go settings at the bottom. Yeah. And then there's a virtual background option and then you should just be able to upload it. Do I need to upload them? I'll upload them both cuz then I think maybe you'll be able to choose okay um, can you choose a background or no i'm trying to install it uh slack is always oh don't worry about it because i've added them so i think it'll show up oh. for you too like i've just added the blue and the red backgrounds uh sorry you said go to settings yeah go to settings yeah and uh and then virtual, virtual background. background yeah and there should be a blue and a red one there oh i don't see it i think it's per user it's per user so yeah but let's see if I can download this file another time. Yeah. All right, I got my blue. We're there. Okay. I'm almost there. You're almost there. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. This is good. It's give me gives me time to continue my journey of creating a new out uh new um layout. New one of these. All right, I need to. I'm gonna I'm gonna change our brand. I love this is like this is the prep. You know you, we never prep for a stream, everybody. Just always do it live. All right, we got our agenda on there now, so that's sick. And now I need to add item, camera slot, and then I'm gonna add me, and then I'm gonna add camera slot. I'm gonna add you. Oh, look at you, Streamyard, doing your doing God's work. All right, here we go. That's it. And then we're gonna add our media slot. We're gonna make her nice and make it nice and big. Mm -hmm. I oh, I like that. There we go. Let's make you a little bit, a little bit bigger. We got our agenda. We got our background. Save that bad boy. We're gonna call this custom layout three. All right, are you ready for it, Parth? Are you ready to yeah. just blow it away? Here yes, it is. Yes, we'll see Here it. it is. Oh, okay, Boom. that's great. But now we need the screen share. Do you wanna? Yeah. Do you wanna? Do you want screen share today? I can screen share. It. For now. Yes. Also. I love, I love these backgrounds. This is it. We've this figured out marketing. Done. Developer marketing complete. It's all about just fun comic book backgrounds. All right. Uh, uh, yes, I'm also not doing full uh, thing. Yeah. What am I saying first? That's what I'm deciding. Am I, am I opening Z or actually? I don't know. Wait. What? I can't. Uh, I think there was like in one of the apps you could like click shift and then select multiple things to share, but you can't do that on here. So that's come on, StreamYard. I've heard some mixed reviews on StreamYard as a platform. I love this. Mm -hmm. Like I know there's other things that are out there, but I I particularly love this. Um, all right. So while part is getting that up, um, can you so see my screen? I can't. I can. Oh, I can. Yes. Let me add it. Oh, okay. Look at Perfect. that beautiful. I can Here even make that bigger. I might. I'm gonna make that screen a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna make pull that over there and then I'm gonna make you a little a little bigger. It's okay. No, not not even you. Like I'm actually making the actual window a little bit bigger. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So oh, now we great. got yep. a little bit. Look at that. Look at how look at what we've done here, everybody. This is developer streaming at its this best. I don't care what you say. Streaming. I don't care what you say. This is it. All right. Uh, so all right. This is my first time actually looking at Astro and like kind of seeing what it does. So let's take a you know what? Do you know what I love? Yeah. I love that uh, Astro and DevCycle uh, share a a big customer. Oh, really? 
Yeah, because we're both Nord, we're at Nord VPN oh, is a, Nord a dev cycle VPN. user as well. Yes, that is true. That but Google, is... Google or Microsoft, if you're out there and looking for a feature flag provider, uh, we're here for you. Yeah, if, if they're trying to get out of their in, in-house solutions. They definitely, definitely have an in-house solution. Yeah. 100%. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, seems pretty nice. It seems very performant for sure. Or at least from the, uh, from all of this, like comparisons and benchmarks, you can. So Astro is a Astro is a meta framework, though, right? Like it's not an actual framework itself. Mm -hmm. It's something that you add on top of another library. Is that right? Uh, I'm, I'll be honest. I have not looked too much into Astro to know that. All right. Well, or not I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go look this up. What is Astro? But in the meantime, I'm going to get started. Do it. With Astro, I'm just going to create a new project. A web framework for building things. For building for, things. Uh, new for building. <laughs> That's not what it says in the oh. doc. <laughs> <laughs> just a web framework for building things. Did you mean to pull it down? Uh, I, I realized I need my whole screen. So I'm just going to do the full screen and then go to terminal and then back and forth. So while we're waiting, everybody, while we're waiting, My we, up. Up. we have nothing yeah. to wait for. We're waiting for nothing. All right. Let's see. Create Astro. Latest. So we did this yesterday and we were like, I like this install CLI is, is, yes. is, is, is very is, nice. It's peak, peak developer, peak fun. At the color scheme as well. By the way, if you are watching the stream as we're going through this process, say hello in chat. There are chats in so many different places. And otherwise, it's that just Parth true. and I hanging out on stream. We would love to talk to y'all. Um, we'd love we'd love for you to be the what do you get when you combine red and blue? Is the purple? We want you to be the purple the purple of our stream. So say something. Corny Hang is definitely in in chat and saying something. So thank you for doing that. Shout out to Corny Hang. Uh, all right, include sample files. Yes, recommended. Do you plan to write TypeScript? Andrew. No, it's all right, do it. You know what? I yes, I have like every, okay. So I wanna, I wanna set the record straight. I say many times that I dislike TypeScript and it's true because I do dislike TypeScript just because I like the freedom of just, cre I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, um, I'm not a, I'm an artisan, right? Like when you're, when you're uh, making that sourdough recipe for the first time, you're not, you're not, you're not checking how old and smelly that, that starter is. You're just like, you're just using that starter. Um, that's me. That's me in my development world. But that said, everything I'm Fair seeing enough. right now is type safe. Everything is type safe. Yes. Like I, I, I saw, I, I had a kid walking through some C sharp stuff the other day, and I was like, "Do you have to declare like the the um, like the object or the type on that?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, you've got to like say whether it's like bool or string." And I was like, "Oh, oh no, oh no." This is actually very nice. It's so nice, like the way that they've done it. All right, uh, CD in true, what did I even call it? Yep, Astro build, and then open Z into there. All right, I have not used Z. You know what, I'm gonna close it. Oh, I love that we only use Z for these streams. I, I only use Z for this, this 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 stream, that's it. Other, otherwise, I'm not. Uh, Click. To restart, okay, fine. I'm gonna update that just so that That's, we have less issues. This, this is how you can tell. Always do everything live on stream. Show the real developer experience. The question is, is it gonna load? Is it going to load? Oh, it's here. Sorry, it was already there. I just didn't look. All right, let's take a look at our, like what we got out of this. So there's the TS config, the readme has information. It's pretty simple layout. Expect. Yeah, season astronaut is fun. <laughs> nice. Uh packet out JSON. It's a pretty light command. Sorry? 
it's pretty light. Like that's not got a lot of dependencies. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. sure there's dependencies under the hood for Astro and Astro JS check, but yeah, it's pretty light. Possibly, very mm -hmm. possible. And package. Up. I'm not gonna open package up log, but index looks like a bunch of HTML stuff. The Astro, or I don't know if this, I don't know if it's correct to call it HTML or just call it XML. I think so. Maybe. Or Astro. I don't know. That's a good question, actually. Yeah, it, it, is like... a, it is a TML. It's some sort of TML. Oh, okay. It's always a text markup language. We don't need mm -hmm. to worry about what goes before. Card. The card. Do you want to install the recommended Astro? Oh, yes. Go for it. Install all the stuff. Ooh. Look, look, that's nice. so much nicer. That is, that is like, I love the color. I do love the color scheme. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of that. Like that, like pink, purple, blue. I mean, this isn't bad. Like the, even bad, though, yeah. like that's, that's pretty nice. Even and like just the fave icon is there. And then just the dot PS code stuff. Oh, huh? sure. 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 All right. Uh, Let's see it in action. Let's see if this works. If it doesn't work, folks, it's all part of the show. Yes. We uh, planned it that way. Wait, which command would you like to run? Dev. All right. Uh, I have a... I have a URL. And... I can hop in here. Okay, welcome to Astro. Hey. To get started, open the directory SRC pages in your project code challenge. Click the welcome to Astro message above. All right, let's do that first. I like that actually. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Oh, it's in the props. It'll be a prop, right? Oh, this is right here. Not a prop. Don't listen to me. Let's go. That's marketing. That's marketing, everybody, right there. There you go. That was pretty quick. That was very, very quick updates. It was. Is the blue bar at the top of yours um, like an arc specific thing? Yeah, it's an arc specific thing. It's because of the, it's, it shows that it's a, I think it's for any of the local, uh, uh, I think URLs, because on the other ones, it won't show, but it shows that this is a dev like, kind of. I like that. Instance of things. It's awesome. Oh. You tell Arc has been designed for a very specific audience. I'm trying to see if I can hide it. No, it's fine. I just was curious because I was like, ooh, that's interesting. That is, but I think it's going into the logo a little bit. That's all right. I think we're fine. All right. Uh, uh, all right. So let's see. There's just a bunch of cards and uh, links to the cards. So. What is what do you want our first step to be? Uh, okay, so first step is we need to decide what we want our flag to okay our flag to be, and because then we're gonna like head into Copilot and like start asking it some questions. Oh, we're gonna need to use VS Code for this. Oh yes, I can I can I can quickly change to VS Code. Um, yeah, we need to decide what our first feature flag is gonna be, and then we need to yeah like just start testing it out. So. All right. Is this too small? This is too small. It's, it's too really small. Too yeah. Small. Is it better? It's better. Yes. Yeah, it's better. All right. Uh, can you uh, can you show me the layouts file? I'm just curious what the yeah. There we go. Um. Sorry, which one? The the like the, the layouts file. Layouts I'm super file. Curious. Oh, it's just yes. styling. It's just styling, and then it has the header. Uh, okay. I guess the slot is where. Where are you defining the Astro, like the the props, like that title props? Is it in the Astro config or is it somewhere that else? That is a very good question. Let's see. Mm, no. Let's see what define configs does in Astro config. It's like user configs. Don't know what user configs would be. There are the site, base, trailing slashes, if we want to use them or not, redirect. 
Okay, it's like I guess more stuff you want to add, like source directories, public directories. If you change their uh, setup, then you you need to kind of provide that here. Hmm. So where is it getting the title from? Where is it getting the title from? That is a good question. It must be in it must be in the page. And no, it's not in here. Uh, there is. Weird. Nothing here. Oh, there's nothing there. It actually calls the layout. Oh, yes, layout title. Oh, there it is. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so essentially, you're just creating these dot astro kind of almost like HTML uh, like web components, and then you're yeah. just calling them. This reminds me of Vue a lot. Vue.js. It's like similar similar setup, like defining your your um. Uh, all your JavaScript, like kind of in the in the head, the head or front matter, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's nice, cool. All right. Um, yeah. So we need to decide what do we want our first feature flag to be. Do we want to go simple, like a boolean on off, and just like hide one of those cards? Yeah, I think that sounds like a good one. Just like just wrap this around in a. That's yeah. So we're just gonna we're we're gonna do a boolean flag. So, but this is the thing. So we're doing this all AI, right? We're not we're no, not doing we're not this. Doing anything. We're not we're doing not this ourselves. We're not, we're not thinking at all. Today yeah. is a day for us to just sit back and let Devin do its job. Um, so right. let's go. But let's do Copilot first because you can ask questions in Copilot. Oh, the Copilot chat. Yeah, yeah. Right? Have yes. you? I've never used the Copilot never chat. Never used it. So like now's the time. Is Copilot Copilot's not run? Oh yeah, it's running for you. The Copilot, yes. It's a separate plugin. Hi. Oh, there you go. Uh, I think you can do it in code. If you highlighted a uh, section, I think it. Yeah, the star. It's the star that's there. Oh, this one. Yeah. T not. Oh. Yeah. Behind. Yeah. There you go. Modify using no. Copilot. Or I think I think so. Go highlight one of the cards and let's see. Because I feel like. It oh. Gives you yes. That. That would be easier. It still has this. So do do just above without highlighting it. So like just put yeah there or yeah maybe go further down. There should be like an option that you will eventually be able to just get the. I think I might have turned it off. No, it's on. It's on. You can see the cards behind it because when you mm -hmm. had it at the top, you could see just the whatever. Do do this. This is fine. The, the the start the inline chat session. I think that's what you need, right? Yes, this, that's what I was thinking. This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All okay. right. So, what is our question going to be? Because we got to come up with our question, and then we have to ask it the same thing in all the different platforms. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, I guess like a prompt test. Yes. I want to create a feature flag that hides this card. And I think we should say that uses the open feature standard and the dev cycle provider. Feature flag. Oh, uh, you know, that feature flag should use the, the open feature standard with dev cycle provider. Yeah. I, I feel like this is it. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Fetching response. Data is on its way. Oh. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay, this is good. So it definitely doesn't... So, I mean, this is fine. We did this to ourselves because we said in line. Mm -hmm. mm, that is true. So but, what if you were to do it here? I mean, well, I mean, we can play around with this. Like, we can mm -hmm. just move things to the right places. Yeah, like, all of this can just go up here. Yeah, I think it does just go into the front matter, right? Yeah. I believe so. And then... Like that from open feature dev cycle i this is I, this is not how we do it but let's just let it be for now because i want let's see how far it goes and then yeah and then we just need to wrap i'll accept, yeah, accept this it. and then how are you supposed to wrap this oh just uh, this... just like delete the old card because that's like i guess that must be the logic it's assuming in astro but it's it's failing on the the if did, did we define community card somewhere? Uh, it's here. Show community card. With is defined I here. I, I don't think that'll work. 
Yeah, like, I, don't think, I don't think that would work. All right, copilot. Cool, we do so R like this, kind of going into the uh, like that. Oh, so it is like that. I was trying to see if it works in the. So like, you just got like ternary logic in there, then, eh? Yeah, uh, I just wanted to see if this would do essentially what we do with uh like like react i feel like this is a react meta framework that, that would make sense i'm gonna see let me see is astro a react meta framework uh it's a javascript meta framework but okay astro matter yeah hmm. But if it's working, if it's not showing errors, then I think that's fine. Yeah, this asks, like it looks like it's all right. And then we need to open up the dev cycle example app. So provider. let's ask, let's ask it to, because we need to install packages. So like, yeah, throw in Copilot and say like, how do I install the open feature? How do I install open feature in the dev cycle provider? How do I install open feature and Dev cycle provider. There's no such package name open feature or dev cycle available in the NPM registry. Okay, so it's it's not that's pretty dumb. I mean, I don't want to say dumb. It's uh, not it's actually not we should be asking it the actual question. So open feature dev, and then uh, like I think it's called the open feature JS. Uh, yeah, but it it uh, auto installs with our stuff now, right? Uh, yes. When we install DevCycle, the SDKs so, have it. Yeah. So then I guess maybe we should just install it. I guess we don't need we don't need AI to help us with this. Yeah. Should we just that's, just, that's just, just install it. That is fair. Uh, where's my terminal? I feel like uh, Copilot's going to make us do a lot more work. Yarn. I love that you're like yarn add dev cycle. I was about to just do like dev cycle, but actually I'm just going to open up the docs just to make sure that I'm doing it right. It should be a JavaScript SDK. Installation. Yeah, sure. And there you go. Go to the open feature one though, because I wonder if this is true. Like, yeah, just click like under TypeScript, click open feature on the oh. sidebar. Yes, open feature. Yeah, okay. Desktop provides a implementation if you prefer. Yeah, so this is right. So basically, yeah, do that. If you use Yarn, you got to do both. So uh, yeah, I'll, do, I'll need this because of the dependency issues. All right, uh, we're going through it. So wasn't really, I don't know, What's Copilot that? wasn't really amazing with it. No, it's like everything that it gave us, we're now having to, we're now having to like- We'll have to do all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what, like almost, so almost was... literally, you're gonna have to copy everything. Yeah. All right, that's yeah, good. It, does, so it doesn't define a user object. And we're we're okay. making like a big assumption that you can actually do custom JavaScript in that yeah. section, you know? Yes, exactly. Uh, now it's time for us to go ahead and create a feature flag. Oh, look at that. The new dashboard, new dashboard, new dashboard is looking very nice. Also, the new Slack app. Yeah, we haven't talked. To, I mean, it's in the docs and I think we did an announcement last week, but this is, uh, this is very cool. This is an extension of our webhook. So mm -hmm. with webhook, you can basically attach 
like if you want to get updates about changes that are happening with your flags, you can actually like kind of uh, connect it with Zapier or whatever. But this is now a native integration for um, for Slack, so that you can just like set it up on a channel and get notified about your the, the updates that are happening to it. Which I think is really useful if you're concerned that changes are going to happen and people aren't going to know. So it just kind of gives you like a real life audit log. Cause that's the other thing is the web hook was an, ex was an evolution of the audit log and the Slack is an evolution of the web hook, which mm -hmm. is an evolution of the audit log. Yeah. Uh, working on, I worked on all of actually web hook just a little bit, but I think it was, it was a lot of fun working on the, on the Slack app. Are you sad that it's over now? Now it is. The... It's, it's never over never open. that's very true you've got to now you've got to maintain that for the foreseeable future do you want to call it safe show community yeah sure we, i mean we can just say yeah sure yeah let's do that i came here because we need the key i came here we need the the sdk key to uh this is take the names client and SDK. all the names I came here to code JavaScript and take <laughs> names, and I'm all out of names. All right, there you go. We have what you want, maybe. Yep. No, uh, need we're to... almost there. But it, you've got you've got that in. Oh yeah, that's the updated one with the just a new flag. All right. Um... I don't even and know then what environment. We just need, like, we just need to like. update. We just need to update the like the constant to call it like community card or whatever. Oh, I don't know what we called it further down. Show community card. There you go. Copy and paste it, and we're good to go. And right. let's see if. Do you have the targeting rule set to set to off? It should be set to on because it is in. Uh, your dev. Sorry. Uh, we have so development. Everything turns on on default. Okay. I remember. Great. I remember that one. All right. Ooh. Yeah, there it is. There you go. So where is it finding that error? Which line? In, uh, it's saying that default is not a constructor because of the import types. I think. Because they have default imports mm. and the dev cycle provider, I believe. All right. So already, Copilot, you have done a thing that is not is not good. Um, all right. Uh, so we want to do. Let me see. Astro imports. I wonder what this will say. I believe this should be able to do it as long as we do that. You think so? Import, yeah, you can do it. Import JavaScript, TypeScript. You can import mm. from other components. Yeah, you can definitely, you should definitely be able to import but it. But you can't do a default export is the problem here. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, I think I did it wrong. I think I should. Uh, I think this, no, that's not right. Ah, uh, fun. All right, so first, first, uh, first feedback, Copilot. I like the I like the the um autocomplete of Copilot so much better than I like this asking it a question and adding something into code because it definitely got literally everything wrong. There's not a single thing that Copilot got right here. There you go. I think this should do it. This should do it. Please do it. Same error. Maybe not. Let's see. Let's see what Astro's thinking. Let's see, it's again nothing. You get no page, no error. That's nice. That's that's. Uh, oh, there we go. Error here. Same thing. Same error. I'm changing the build file, so of course there there should be errors. Why can I not just do that and then go in here? Because we don't have any named exports, so this should have. Uh, 
this should be able to do it because I added it as part of the. Oh, is it? It's in the wet import depth from the open web provider. Do you want to? Has no export member. It it wants me to not use these. Uh, ah. But you use the you use that when it's a default. Like, actually, can we do it like that? No. Let's see. Let's just try if this works. If not, then we will need to go rogue. It's the best way to go. Uh, yeah, we don't. We technically do not support this at the moment for Astro. So we can't do it. Nope. He cannot do it. Cannot but do... only with open feature, right? Can we do it with just plain old dev cycle? Uh, I'm not or we're going to run into the same or... issue, right? We may run into the same issue because it's saying that default is not a constructor for the import. I wonder if there's a different way because there's a uh, so in the Astro docs there's a um, there's a section that talks about imports. That is that amazing amazing idea. Let's just yeah. look at that. <laughs> what's the most? What's the what? What is the thing that I did? Oh, so scroll down, uh, and it's under guides guides under fonts imports there you go yeah so and then there's a section that talks about npm packages this is the thing that i will contribute to today's stream <laughs> is that just go read the docs part Ah, we need to change the byte config for it to work. I did it. I did a thing. Read the documentation, everybody. Uh, there is a developer that has worked hard on those docs. So go read them. I agree. There is always somebody who's worked very hard on the docs. Just this. Somebody's relying on... uh okay i think the issue is that we're using we should be using our backend uh sdk instead of the front end sdk all but, right uh just one second i thought wait i'm not sure if we do back server end side end. sdks with open feature oh we, yeah, do. we do okay we should we should be doing this and so all right. right there we go so uh astro it's not front end. Even though it looks front end, it is not front end. It it is server side rendering, so that makes sense. All of these things make sense. Dang, that was fast. Yeah, it's, and like, now it's, we, and it's now almost like, like it had everything it needed. Almost, almost yeah. like it had everything it needed, or it did. All right. Now let's copy all of this. Let's copy all of that and put it here. Oh, I need to get the server SDK key now. Hey. No, oh, what do I need? That's all I need, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. And then just change this, change these names, and then uh, this to be here. All right, good. We got somewhere, Sick. I think. But we're not using the client here. Nice. This is not being used, so maybe remove that. That's something we need to change in the docs. But now, did we we had this issue last time too, right? Like set provider and and wait was not. Like we, yes, we like, did. We did this. We had the same up. issue on another stream, and I don't remember what our solution to it was. I think. 
Yeah, just a bundling error. Is what it is. This is just a bundling error. Uh, we have this and... Oh, it, because it could be undefined. I'm going to be unsafe. Don't tell Jamie. Uh oh, oh no. See, this is it. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is why type safety. I don't know why I'm so. So it gets type safety. It does help, especially on server side. Uh, I think we may just need to make our own uh, own this file own this file that's fine we don't yeah because okay. we'll need to do our like well you need to just set up like the initialization and stuff so here's the question mm -hmm. did we bite off more than we could chew by saying that we should do this in astro was that a yes, problem we did but that's all right you know what that's that's what it means to be a developer should we switch to javascript i think uh code cleanup might be better on javascript at least just for like, just like the, vanilla, like a vanilla JavaScript yeah. page. Uh, I mean, like just like one of our. Oh, our yeah, our maybe sample apps. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Let's do the example app here. Um, this is what we do, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I'm. Feeling a little. You're feeling a little what? I don't know. Just, just feeling like I've done it before, but I don't know if I've done it before. Yeah, I'm with you there. Every time that I set foot uh, at a set foot, at, every time I set foot at a computer, every time I sit down to do any project, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that I've done this and I've successfully done this, but I cannot actually remember how I successfully did this. So my like right now, my Tia, my like experience with this is like much as much as it's nice to use it, the idiosyncrasies of these different frameworks and tools are just really not there you need to actually get invested and then use it and i think uh our goal was not to deep dive into astro we can do that in a different stream yeah for sure. so i'm gonna close this right here Okay, we're good. Okay, we are here. Now, what are we doing? We have our app. We have everything tested. Just need to put the server key in there. You know I what? should start working. I'm just going to go here and create a feature. Because... Yeah, create, do as you need to do. And then so I will really say like Astro, much as we're like switching away from using Astro right now, like that's nothing to do with Astro. Astro is mm -hmm. like a really powerful framework. There's just, I feel like we're, we're fighting too many battles. We're fighting too many battles by, um, by trying to like focus on like dev cycle plus open feature plus Astro, um, I let's we'll give the AI a chance. Wait, I just realized. Should we be using a a front end thing or a back end thing? Oh, for this one, for the JavaScript yeah. one, it should be front end. Yes, I think. Yes, yes. Let's just use React Open Feature. Sample app. No, wait, doesn't it install like in that sample app? Or did we just steal the code? I can't oh, remember. Oh, no, I, I I got the Node.js one. So I got the back end one. Like oh, okay. Node SDK. That's on me. No, that's fine. Well, let's just do it. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. yeah. It's just <laughs> fun. 
All right, everybody watching, how's it going? Yeah, say hello. We want to like interact with you. Sorry, that that sounded really aggressive. Say hello. We want to interact with you. Um, but seriously, we want to say we want to be able to to recognize you for being here watching because people are sticking around, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, so I love that we are actually also moving through. So we did our astro explain astro chef's kiss. Super easy to get started. Love it. Um more of that more of what you're doing astro we love it all right we but did react ria is react. not quite ready for you yet and then all right i think my you're a little happy now actually why am i i'm making my life harder than it needs to be that's also being a developer, right? <laughs> Part of the game. Fair enough, fair enough. I love that I'm just, I just get to watch. I just get to watch you do all of the work in here. And I just get to sit back and relax, drink some coffee. <laughs> all right, I think we're ready. We're we there? Ready. I Let's think so. Yarn, dev. Yarn install first, like I need to install dependencies, and then maybe we're ready. Almost, we're almost there. So yeah, then, I, mean, like, I I really have to say it again to the team that worked on getting our example, like sample apps, like working as quickly as they do. It's, yeah, Laura it's and great Emma, work. They killed it. Like they knocked it out of the park. Great with these. work on the activation side. It's very quick and very like easy to just get started. I think. Yeah. So we're there. We got it up. What is it called? Is it not called dev? Is it called start? Fine. Yarn start. It's so frustrated with the start command. Damn Sorry? you sample apps. It's like, I love the, I love these sample apps, but I hate the way that you've defined how they start. Oh my God. <laughs> What's going on? Open feature imported was not found in open feature react SDK. What? What? This is literally the React sample app that you installed. Yes. That's not letting us use. No, 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 no. It's it's because I did yarn. Oh, look at that. We got an ad bot that's popped in. I much as I'm I'm not super happy and I gotta now go on to Twitch to turn up to get rid of that. I love that we are we are popular enough to get bots coming in and offering deals. All right, uh delete message. Yeah. All right, running start. Okay, it should work. Did we get it? Let's see. Let's go. Starting development server. There you go. We got it. Okay. What is up? Uh, all right. So we got it in here. So now, should we just go in and delete some feature flags, or should uh, we try and get should we try and get AI to delete the feature flags for us? Yeah, I think we can take that approach because we already have feature flags in here. And then we can. All right. Like, so maybe this is it. Maybe today's stream, the rest of the stream is like AI for flag cleanup. removal, right? For code cleanup. So, because mm -hmm. um, I feel like it gets it, but it's all the idiosyncrasy. So, can we just tell it to like remove all feature flags from this page and put in a default and put in default values? You want to remove all of them? I think but let's just, I I will, let's right, do yeah. it. Let's just say like, like, let's go hard with this. Oh, we should be using the. Right. No, I, no, I, I think like if you type in copilot and say like, remove all, um, remove all feature flags from the toggle.bot.tsx file. Feature flags from the component toggle.tsx file and replace with replace values with defaults. Let's see if it actually understands what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, go, let's see. Okay, good, so it got one reference. All right, here's an updated, okay. Okay, good, so it's setting those as... Okay. Uh... All right, let's see. Let's see if it works. Wait, did it? So, so it didn't do anything. We gotta like copy that entire thing over. Uh oh. Okay, never mind. I thought it would do it for us. Yeah. So that's interesting. I kind of thought that it would too, but. But that is why I wanted to close 
the okay so here's the updated file okay i'm just gonna copy this and then yeah and i think it's everything right it's the entire file because we no longer need the get message i don't think oh yes we do not oh it still gets the get it still calls get message though no but that said that it was the so okay but here's the thing it told us that that was the ask it if that's the complete file or like show me the complete file is that all of the chain changes is oh sorry is that the complete file or will i need more code Yeah, it the XP product is not complete code. It only uses talk about function the get message. Why is it going into details about how yeah, it's yeah. saying everything else you should know how it works. No, just tell ask it, like show me the complete file. Show me the complete file with all feature flags removed. But for that, what I need to do is remove this so that we're back into the normal configuration yeah. of things. I mean, yeah, and we can just like undo redo or maybe we save a different version of that file somewhere. Oh, there we go. Might look. Sure, different. here's a complete example of how might look with feature flags removed. So it still has the get message. And okay. the image source. Okay. But you don't really need. I mean, I would argue that that is kind of a feature flag. So it's not actually removing the feature flag, but maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm being too literal with my. I don't know what these mean. There's no. Oh, copy and then insert at cursor. Oh. Oh, okay. It can just do that. Uh, I'll just copy and paste it. All right, let's see if this works. It it will work. Do you think so? Because it's throwing errors. Yeah, because of TypeScript. Type safety. So close, close, but not quite there. All right, perfect. I think we got it. Let's see. Can't resolve dogbot CSS. Oh, it's yes, at the very top, the imports. Yeah, the import statement at the top. So it added more code for us to not find? What? Where is it defining that in... Oh, hold on, hold on. Go back to the code. Yeah. So right there, right? Get image source. Does mm -hmm. it define get image source anywhere? It used to have a get image source. So if we go here and take a look, the get image source. It used to be this. And now it's removed it completely. Oh, it changed the SVGs to GIFs for no reason. Yeah, I was going to say, like, that. See, okay, so yeah, let's just change those back to SVGs. Hmm. Yeah, see if that does it. Yeah. We okay, so that works. Default okay. And so I think that's, let's like, that's good. So we've got an idea. So mm -hmm. basically, Copilot needed some support here uh let's set it back to default and then let's maybe go and try perplexity or something uh or, let's or see. gemini I'll, I'll, I'll save it here yeah there you go good idea and then uh no so and actually in here we should actually change the at dot svgs back to dot dot um dot uh whatever do you know what i mean yes yes the, just so yeah. that we can just so that we can see like what it actually changed it to so they get that that's a weird choice to go and change to go and change that yeah uh but okay so we're back now where do we want to go next uh you were gonna do gemini you were loading up gemini before so yes gemini.google.com chat with gemini uh yes agreed Okay, first time using this. Yeah. Hi. 
I don't know why, but I always I always start with the high. This is what I need. You gotta be kind to our robot overlords. I have this file. Uh Toggle bot.tsx and I want to remove all feature flags and set the values to be the default default values. Love that. Okay. Sick. I actually want to I want to do something else in here after. Okay. Alright. But <sighs> let's see. Um, is it just is it just you or i don't know maybe this is me too i all of the platforms explain it all and sometimes i i you have to like explicitly say like no just show me the code oh this is pretty cool What's you can export you can export and test generated code in repl repl oh you can actually export this to repl that's pretty cool oh that's nice I'm I'm just tempted to do that now. Try it. I mean, it's not going to do anything, right? Because like the rep replit has no context for the rest of the application. I understand. Open it. Uh, have have you used this before? No. This is like um, it's like uh, code spaces. So I describe mm -hmm. I define re or describe replit as like if um, Microsoft Word is your go-to word presser and Google Docs is like. Microsoft Word less powerful but more collaborative and scalable. Replit is like that versus VS Code. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's fair. Continue without upgrading. Oh, I need to upgrade to actually import, so it really doesn't do anything. No, no. Oh, it does. It. Huh. Okay, so it says remove. <laughs> so it goes in and takes the conversation and says remove these lines. Uh, I mean. I don't, I don't hate that because I feel like that's a much better, like you're going to manually make the changes, but I feel like let's just ask it to give us the updated, like the complete updated file. Can you give me the complete and updated file? Absolutely. Here it is. Lovely. Okay. Well, let's put it in here and then see what is now different so that's short that's very short uh yes one thing i will say it changed these to know that we don't need to use uh i can't even read this i think it it was smart enough so it's like remove the switch statements and modify the logic uh and it's essentially removing uh... everything and it kind of tells that's you that's smart do. i like that yeah instead of just removing everything it's literally just removing the actual like the actual like yeah the 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 switch statement so like the the if the the, the if then logic mm -hmm. that's in there all right but it didn't do this so it's not is it not realizing that it's wait what do you mean it oh it didn't update it in it the didn't actual update the, the function calls yeah and it forgot a variable here which variable should wink it forgot should wink like it, it didn't pass it into this uh function so i would need to do should wink boolean and then i would do that and then that and this would work okay let's see actually let's see here oh this is not defaults though i mean it's a default right so i well, not the just, code default that's true so it's taken some license with what it defines as default. Did it also change the language, like the actual switch statements in there? It got rid of them. But like the hello, nice to meet you. Is that what we had as well? Is that one of the options for the messages in the original code? Hello, nice. No, it should. Oh, the get message should be. Oh, is that is that get message? Oh, it did change it. It just says hello, nice to meet you. Yeah. It, oh, it's just a use a single default message. Well, that's interesting. So like it's determining like what the default message is. So it's taking a lot of liberties with what default means. Yeah, it doesn't really use our our kind of consideration of defaults or even feature file considerations of default. 
Yeah, so that's interesting. But mm. I do like, I definitely do like for the cleanup that it's yes. doing what it did with the with the functions there. I think that's a much smarter way. All right, let's read this one more time and just make sure that yeah, like it makes sense. So remove the feature flag uses, remove the lines that use use boolean flag value and use string flag value. Smart. Okay, so you remove these two, set default values directly, assign the default values directly to the variables. Oh, so it says assuming default wink is enabled and assuming default spin is slow. So instead of taking whatever was here, it assumed something in here. Uh, but it told us to assign values. Uh, update get message and get image source. Since you're not using feature flags anymore, remove the switch statements and modify logic based on default values. But then it didn't add it in here. So that's, that's the only thing here. But overall, I think a lot better experience remove the variation name section which is optional and did it actually do that yes it did there's no variation very variable name was it or variation name hmm. so this is that like text that appears below go back to the running example this one that one yeah yeah so there's generally oh, oh wait what yeah because there's normally a message below the head uh -huh. right in yeah. our in our default mm -hmm. it removed the variation section oh it, it says that but here's what i like is that i feel like other ai might have just like removed that part of it and this mm -hmm. i would i would have expected for it to throw an error the way that it was going to remove it so i actually i actually really like i like a lot of the choices that gemini made yeah it seems like uh i feel like if copilot is a junior dev um like gemini is is slightly more than a junior dev that is fair that Maybe is fair. Right immediate. okay so let's restore the code to like the broken state that it was in when we imported it because mm -hmm. then we can like see what eventually we can look at these all side by side okay and then we will name this uh Gemini. All right. So I think we're both of the same mind that at this point, um, we're liking, we're liking, uh, Gemini more than copilot. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's also, next? What's next on our list? Also, one of these costs money. Which one? Copilot is not free. Copilot's free. Uh, no, we have it because of our enterprise plan. Really? No, yeah. I oh I have I have like a GitHub education thing too, so that might also be true. Yeah, so uh let's see. GitHub copilot cost. About billing for GitHub copilot. Ten dollars per month. 10 usd per month 120 bucks a year i mean it's cheaper than i mean i would just use gpt which is what i do yeah but i mean gemini is free so that's the comparison i was trying to make like Ooh, one I of see. them is free but free. is better free anytime I mean, that a pl that a tool is free uh what is it like if the product is free you are the product you are the product yes you are the but product. uh I meant like I think with Chat GPT, uh, like their free version. Like Gemini also has a turbo and a non-turbo version, right? That's so, true. Let me That's get fair. Out this down first. Um. Okay. So we're we gonna do GPT for the next one. Yes. Sorry, cool. I just opened it up already. Yes, and keep in mind that uh, do we want to do like dumb or smart? Oh, this is dumb. That's why I went into... Awesome. Okay, good. No, dumb is good, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to do dumb because I feel like it's a much more honest comparison. Mm -hmm. So we basically need to copy the same prompt that we put into Gemini. I feel like just, like, go copy that Gemini prompt. The initial yes. one. Uh, one second. Does it give you the initial prompt? This one. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, this is the best one-to-one -one we can yeah. do. And I mean, for anybody that's watching, I mean, you probably already know this, but it is technically like uh, Copilot. All of the Microsoft stuff is using 
is using Ch ChatGPT as like the back end for all of the logic. So mm -hmm. this is so slow. It's so slow because I'm used to using four, which four? is just ridiculously fast. Yeah. I don't know why this is uh, as slow as it is. It's probably like your all of your RAM is being eaten up by this stream. Uh, but it doesn't run anything locally. I think it does still eat up a lot of your local um, memory while it's running here, though. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Did you um, did you see the new M? Is it MK MHKCD? The new like the rabbit pin or the the um, human AI pin? The yes. human AI one. Yeah, I think we've all seen that one. And I was yeah, just yeah. like, oof, that's slow. But this is this is this is taking its time. Okay, let's stop it. I think there's a actual problem because we pasted code. Maybe. Uh, no. But it shouldn't shouldn't be an issue because yeah, we just knew exactly be what we were going to do. Yeah. Oh, oh there, we, there go. we go. Yeah, there's a, something in the middle. Here's the modified code. Import class names from class names. Now should okay so i think this will work this is probably the best code that we get gone as in terms really of, in terms of uh like workability oh class import class names was actually a thing sorry i yeah. thought the import class names from class names was not actually an import but i didn't realize it was no in it's there. for this here so when you're when you're adding <coughs> when you're at multi like when you're adding yeah. multiple class names that's what you use it for oh. so this here it okay let's just open up our wait oh no uh, why, uh -oh. Am I... why is this no it's using the wrong one why is he using gemini oh it hmm. i think i know what the problem is uh let's make it into a dot md file just so that it doesn't pick up as a actual file to run linting on okay nice to meet you default and i just want to see exactly what they changed here okay so they were yeah they removed the open feature stuff which makes sense they set They're, the default to false and off so it actually followed the yes. defaults that were in there mm -hmm. which is nice and then uh, and it, and then it kept all of the code as is so it didn't refactor code it just kept everything as is and just said just use the code with this which essentially is not what it should be like it should be more like gemini where it just like for refactors code while doing this yeah because i would technically because if you consider a feature flag just to be a conditional statement in code that defines what is shown like we still have these switches that are basically defining what is shown based on whatever um config that we have defined for here so yeah i i, I would kind of agree with you like it's nice because it's kept some of the things that we want but it didn't do anything different it literally just like set it set the defaults this yeah would you agree like this hasn't actually done the job that we asked it to i no, it did the job we asked it to we didn't ask it to refactor but do you do you think that the actual feature flags have been removed in here yes feature flags have, have been removed uh and the reason i say that is because like our ask was remove the feature flags which were here and it did that um everything in here is more like like you could go in here and their your get message can be anything okay yeah I'll, I'll give you that i mean so like my like another way of looking at it is like imagine this was a more complex like uh function then it would make it so that you would like, if it removes it then you're like oh i just lost some code but technically okay. Is just refactoring of so code this that is, you don't need anymore. So this is the cleanest. This is the the most minimal change of any of the platforms that we've used so far. That technically does the job. This is like it did a it did a. I don't know if I would say this is an A job. I would say this is like this is a pass. Can you refactor the code? 
to be uh what do I, what do I want to say? Can you refactor the code to be uh, like remove conditional logic? To remove uh useless logic or unused. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. All right, let's see. Nope, it still yeah. has everything. It's just given the same stuff. So, I mean, yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's it's like I think as a I think as a developer, I like this approach better because yeah, it still fair. gives me code in working condition, and it's on me to go and fix all these. Okay, I'll I'll give you that. Yeah, so it's not it's not removing everything. It's just like these are these are minor changes that are being suggested. Yeah, Copilot definitely took the most liberties, though. Hey, like it was the one that that did the most. Uh, thing. Gemini two actually. What do you mean? It did the most. So like go to yeah. So there's the uh, go to Copilot. Oh no, because that's right. Because Copilot. He uh, just returned this for us, right? Yes. But it was okay. the one that changed the images to GIFs and stuff like that. Oh like, yeah, it Copilot did all that. Copilot did though, some weird stuff. Yeah, it did stuff it didn't need to do. Yes, Copilot did things it didn't need to do. Gemini did some interesting things that make sense. Yeah. Um, but technically, if you're just looking to do minimal code changes, then yeah, so far GPT is the one. All right, perplexity. Perplexity.ai. It doesn't even ask me to log in, which is very nice, I think. You're like, am I logged in already? Sorry? Have you used Perplexity before? Uh, So they added per Perplexity as part of uh, Arc Browser. OK. I use it there, but I haven't used it. Used it. Like, I haven't used any of this. So let's just see. Hi, I have this file. Can you please change it? OK. Okay, this, this like it's been very similar to GPT. Yes, uh, it's actually the same code as GPT. Yeah, but I'm going to say, can you refactor? Uh, I'll say exactly what I said here and see if it does what it should, or does what we're expecting it to do. Nope, it still has the same thing. So it's so is it is perplexity based on the same model though? Could be. Oh, I haven't I'm done much. Perplexity, perplexity, uh, GPT five or GPT three point five. Perplexity introduces updates to Copilot with three point five. Uh, oh, interesting. This is three months ago, but um, GPT three. So yeah, ask it what kind of LLM it's using. Oh, just oh, that's just, like ask it itself. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it'll say. Uh, let's see, new thread. What type of LLM are you using? Duh. It's like I can't tell you that. You're in the free version. Pay to find out. Lovely. Lovely. All right. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm assuming it's 3.5, but it could be yeah. something different. Um, okay. I mean, so basically, perplexity is the same as GBT. So Claude is going to be the next one. Who's Claude by? Oh, Anthropic. Who's that? What does Anthropic do? Or is it just, do they just do this? I don't know. I actually Anthropic. came. AI safety number. AI yesterday. Or US based yesterday. artificial intelligence company founded in 2021. Build with Claude. This is cool. Let's see. Build with the Claude API. No, I don't want to do this right now. Sorry. Oh, no, we'll do this later. Let's just do. 
Oh, not available Ooh. in Canada. What are the certain regions? Everywhere but Canada. What? Yeah. Oh, Canadian cyber security law. Interesting. Okay, so. Well, uh, where are we at? Are we, so, are we going to Bing? Well, we're almost time. Yeah, we're going to Bing. Is it on Bing.com? I've never I used think, this. I think so. Yeah, I think it's that one. Introducing the new Bing. Oh, that's it. That's it. It's the little logo beside the new co-pilot. Mm -hmm. This one. That's the one, yeah. Oh. Is there a... Uh, never mind. I'm just going to check for a light. We're like... Uh... Okay. Copilot in Bing. Let's just send this and see what they say. Okay, taking some time. Okay, good. Giving us some instructions. Remove those lines. Set default lines. Okay, that's expected. Remove commented out code. Okay, get message function. Okay, it's not changing get message. Update get image source. It's not changing any file size there. Yeah, maybe just ask. For it that. tells you to update it, it since you are changing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Does I ask for the complete file? Continue. Can you give me the complete file? Complete and updated file. Mm. It changed code, like where it lives. Um, I mean, uh, to be honest with you, I think it makes more sense to have the the methods higher up. No, it, it what it did was it changed the methods to be part of the. Here, maybe this will see it. So, ToggleBot now has these methods inside. Oh, it. oh! It didn't just move them up; it actually like put them inside. Oh, oh! Mm -hmm. Does that work? It, it works. It works. It's just, that's an interesting. That's an interesting restructure. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't use it this way. Essentially, you're adding more complexity to your component by adding more. Yeah. Code it, so. But it runs. It 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 does run. Let's see. Where is it? Here. Yep. Default. And. Um, yeah, this one's Bing Copilot, I guess. Okay, uh, no, let's change this oh, to. So I think, okay, so Claude we can't do, Gemini we did, Perplexity we did, ChatGBT, we did GitHub Copilot, and then Microsoft Copilot, which give you different results. Uh, okay, so let's do, uh, should we do a tier list? Oh, yes. A, a, tier, a tier list, list for this? Yeah. All right, so uh, do what's our file? file? Sure. File. Uh, tier list.md. All right, so on our list, we've got, yeah, we've got Bing. Tier list for, uh, for AIs. The, for AI coding identity. or for, 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 yeah, there we go. Perfect. Oh, I like S tier. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Let it fill it out. I'm interested in what right. it thinks. Let's see. Bert. Never heard Open of Bert. AI Codex. Dali. Clip. Okay, oh, is are, this is all of them. Do just uh, tier list for AI for programming or for yeah. And let's see what it says. Codex, Copilot. That's it. Oh, that's all I got. That's all I got for S tier. All, all right, what? Go do another free line, and maybe it gives another one. A tier. A -tier there we go. Tab, Tab nine. nine. Kite. Kite. Deep, Deep code. code. Code Guru. I don't even know about any of these. I didn't know. I don't even know if these are necessarily true. It might just be making up names of programming AI. We got to search for. Let's go to C tier and then okay, let's, let's search for this one. Code beat. Code beat. Code exists. beat AI. Oh. Okay. 
I get it. So yeah, this is. Mm. But it's more of like getting feedback on your code. Find refactoring opportunities. Yeah, we that, that okay, different. All right, you know what? Our I'll write down what we used here. Uh, what do we use? G uh, Copilot. Yeah, yeah Copilot. And then uh, Gemin Gemini. Yeah. Perplexity. Uh, chat GPT 3.5. We didn't we didn't check uh, four, and I no, think I'm too well. okay without Let's it. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, because we're looking at free options as well here too, right? Yeah. Like these are all free to use, uh, um, except for her copilot. But yeah, free to use. Yes, yeah, fair enough. But I feel like yeah, there's still some workarounds. Okay, so uh, right. these are our top ones. All right, what would you put in? So what's the what's the um the is S bottom or top? What's top? S is the top. S is top. Uh, S A B C. So all right. okay, let's just do it this way. Um. Uh, best results code. minimal changes uh i would say best code in terms okay. of like like doing more than ask for yeah um, yeah i like that like uh like good code works and uh yeah maybe just go with that works but not sure. great code doesn't and work and then bad code, bad code works or no we have not some working. not working. Yeah. Okay. So I think the ones, which ones were not working out of the box? I think that's the one. I feel which like. Which ones were not working? Oh, Copilot was not working. Yeah. Copilot, original Copilot or. Uh, original yeah. Copilot was not yeah. working. Yeah. So. Okay. So that definitely goes in C. Yes. And Gemini. It was Gemini... technically. Technically not working, but it did refactor, which is what we didn't really ask it to do, but it actually did all of that for us. So then I would maybe put that, is that a B tier then? I feel like it, it works. It does. I mean, I feel like either it works, but not great code or great code, but doesn't work. I don't know. Do you think oh, it's A or yeah. B? Yeah. Works or great code. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do both? Gemini. All right. Uh, now, these three gave us essentially the same result, I would say. They did. They all gave us the same result. Did any make any big, like any different changes? Yeah, let's go look oh, at Oh, actually, I didn't like Bing's thing. Bing would be like kind of here. Oh, yes, because it refactored in a, in a bad way, right? Added complexity. Yeah. So I think for the, for where AI is right now, this is where I would put it just because did not add complexity. Like our go whole point was to remove uh, feature flags. Don't do anything yeah. else. Yeah. Um, and then they did exactly what we asked them to do. Give us code that works right out of the, right out of the bat. We're good. We're happy with it. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. I would say the one nice thing though is perplexity. And I think maybe the ordering we've got it is good because like chat GPT, we had that little bug that like it didn't run the first time. So mm -hmm. we had to go again. Whereas perplexity mm -hmm. like first time worked fine. Oh, uh, didn't even require an account. So there's great. Yes. Yeah. So I think that might actually, I mean, if we're trying to only have one in, in S, I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be one in S tier. It makes sense that ChatGPT 3.5 is at the top. 100% it makes sense because they're like got a billion, billion, billion dollars they're investing into making these things better. Mm -hmm. Interesting in perplexity, like what, depending on what perplexity is using as their, uh, as, yeah, as your LLM. Unless or it's what, their own no. custom. Is it perplexity labs? Oh, let's see. Perplexity. Yeah, LLM. LLM API. We're excited. To, uh, maybe they're using their own custom. They might be using their own custom. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. General response perplexity. Yeah, so they have their own internal models, and then they have a... Me you can use... Oh, hold on. Uh, we evaluated four models. Perplexities model, OpenAI, and... Okay, so it is their own. It's their own model. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, because I found this, um, there's an interesting article here and I'll share it in chat as well. Um, and I'll share it over in Slack as well. Um, where are we hiding here? Uh, Parth. So All right, that, that's that's great. I think uh, that's that's nice. Yeah, um, but I think this is good. Okay, so yeah, I think that I think that it's impressive that Perplexity can keep up with ChatGPT. I think that's interesting that their model is able to keep up with like the industry leader model um, mm -hmm. in like a really effective way. And how old are they? They can't be that old. They're they're not that old. Uh, this is like a year ago. Uh, this message. Yeah, I would put them. I, I definitely think the fact that you do not need to the fact that you do not need to sign up for an account to use them. I wonder if there's like a limit on that, though. I feel like at a certain point you're going to. Um, uh, you're going to like hit a limit where they're going to be like, oh, you're not allowed to do any more any more questions or whatever. Let's ask perplexity some more questions. New thread. Uh, can you explain the open feature standard to me oh we're giving it the real test i am planning to start using it with dev cycle provider for j or for react sdk let's see oh hmm can't find open feature standard oh i didn't i didn't write it properly that's why what do you mean you didn't write it properly? Sorry, that is supposed to be open feature. I did. I forgot the end. Okay. Uh, Based on the search result, uh, open feature standard can be summarized as followed. Uh, open feature for feature flag management. Uh, created to support a robust feature flag ecosystem using cloud native technologies. Key points are provides vendor agnostic community driven API for feature flagging that works with any feature flagging management tool or in house solution. I think it's great. And I love, I love, love, love that it gives you footnotes. Yeah. That's fantastic. I feel like that's a missing piece with a lot of these to use, results. Uh, or actually, does. Does DevCycle have a React open feature provider that I can use? I am huh. actually, I don't, I, that's it. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Use? Yeah, let's see. Let's see what it says. Mm -hmm. It appears that DevCycle does offer a React provider for open feature standards. Provider for okay, so that's, that's yeah. new too. Like that's specifically the dev cycle document states that open feature is oh this talks about open feature. Oh, additionally, dev cycle GitHub repository contains example projects demonstrating the use of open. open click feature click to that. Click into that footnote. I want to see if that's where it's Three. where it's sending you to. Oh, dev cycle labs. I mean. That's pretty nice, actually. That's yeah. a nice little reference to bring you there. I'm surprised it didn't bring directly to the React example, but like I can. Oh, only but it said that uh, GitHub repository contains example projects demonstrating the use of with various frameworks, including React. Oh, okay. So in That's summary, good. yes, yes, it does do that. I like these questions. Are they, I wonder if these are questions that other people have asked? Yeah. That's true. Related. How do I install the DevCycle React SDK? This is great. Yeah. Dang perplexity. They're yeah, perplexity. Amazing. It finds stuff from everywhere. The sources, sources are cool too. That's are... that's a, that poll from Learn with Jason is like mm -hmm. a pretty solid poll. And very and specific to React too, which is fantastic. Not open feature, but it is. Yeah, I, I I just did React. I did. How do I install the React? Oh, like that's that? true. That's very true. All right, I think is... I think okay. perplexity is definitely is definitely the the one the one the the top one of this stream, anyways. For as for 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 cleanup, 
definitely. And I think even we're seeing it being super beneficial for um, uh, like just even research stuff. You know what's so funny is the C tier is the one that you have to pay for. Yeah, this is the only paid option. Like that's um, that's so interesting. Yeah, that yeah, is. I would use, huh? I would use perplexity. I I am gonna. I might. I don't know about. I would switch, but I may play around with perplexity a little bit more. I always get nervous about not. I mean, I. I guess I'm paying like 35 bucks a month for GPT-4 right now. So might as mm -hmm. well give somebody else some some of that love. That's I love this. Cool. All right, this was good. I like this. This was like a simple, I mean, the Astro piece, I think we bit off more than we could chew. Yeah. Um, and I think if we had more time in a stream, we could probably do it. But I feel like we always go over with these streams and we never get enough time for going and exploring some dev cools. So do we want to switch gears? Uh, yeah, do you want to take over? I will take over the screen share because you've been doing all of the work today. Let me get a screen share up here. Uh, present, share screen, share screen, share screen. All right, let's pull it up over here. I'm gonna go and go to my Gmail and I think I've got one. Do I have one in here? No, wrong Gmail. Uh, yes, all right, um, Gmail. So yeah, perplexity is definitely the uh, is definitely the one to check out. The winner uh, for the day. The winner for the day, which is a surprising winner. I thought Google would, uh, I thought Google would definitely knock it out of the park. Uh, they had they had amazing stuff going on there. So I, I, I think great stuff to Gemini. I think what they gave us was it was unique. Nice. It was the most unique offering, right? Like mm -hmm. they did some interesting things with the code that are that were um not making it worse it was just like a slightly different interpretation um yeah all right what do we got in here I, we talked about this before and so the reason we're only spending like 15 20 minutes on this folks that are watching is just because like we looked through we were like there's nothing super exciting that's kind of going on in here but that's not a reason to not kind of look at some of the stuff because tldr web dev is is got some always got some interesting stuff in it uh all right what do we got uh postgres sql optimizer Juno DB stuff, three million variables, envelope encryption, faster connectivity, building something real. Oh. I feel like this this is I like the I like the first one. Or right, the one, one that says faster connectivity does not equal faster website. I think that's did you I read think. this one? Oh I did not. I just saw the let's see. Uh web bloat. Uh more of those can see. That's very true. That's mm -hmm. very true newer does not equal better and more usable for the minority is more sorry newer does not equal better and more usable for the minority is more usable for the majority that's yep. very true exactly. that is very true yeah <clears throat> yeah that's so true what did i hear i was re i was was i watching a stream or i was like i, I can't remember what i was doing but um uh there was a uh um oh my god oh i don't know what i was watching because i'm looking at upgrading and getting a new macbook air um mm -hmm. and it was somebody showing what happens to your ram when you load up an ad heavy site and it like eats up like four mm -hmm. or five gigs sometimes on chrome just like if there's too many ads running and so yeah that's so true like yeah i uh that's yeah, I don't like that, but that's I guess one one thing. One shout out to like Arc is that I haven't seen ads in a while, or maybe I just haven't been looking out for them. So that's nice. Have they built in an ad blocker, or were there ads within Arc before? No, they have built in ad blocker. There you go. Nice. Yeah. I feel like this is very true. We are definitely thinking about speed, and we're thinking about like optimization, but like the conversation on the conversation on connectivity is not one that we're always having. Yeah. Which we really should be. So true. Faster connectivity. Just not equal faster, faster websites. Yeah. That's very true. All right. I've seen a lot of websites where I'll like open up and then it will actually, I think yesterday I was trying to open Roger's website and it was just <laughs> a pain because I'm like, I swear my internet is not this bad and it just takes forever to load the, like the, 
the first paint took forever and i'm like this no there's not on rogers too like they've got a big tech team to be able to support these things that's so sad yeah. like they're they're once loaded it's great but kind of getting there is like the hard part i think all right what else we got here failure mistakes distributed authorization a blueprint for making quantum computers quick links program. Hmm. this is a good one here we go how i set up my terminal for maximum productivity okay does Perfect. anybody out there I, I just use the stock terminal do you use oh, the no, custom no. terminal i i use the oh my zsh really what's the oh what's well, the so oh my zsh adds it like a uh, better look and feel and also so you can kind of uh dive into so if you have seen whenever i'm on terminal it yep. auto completes a lot of the stuff I've so, never heard of this before. I didn't realize that there were other options for your terminal. Yeah. Is this a plug is so but is this a plugin or is this a separate terminal altogether? No, this is a plugin. I use the terminal app, but it uses instead of like it uses ZSH. And in that like ZSH you can like make it so that it has a uh what do you call it? It knows like what branch you're on, what uh like where you're working. And it can huh. give you all that information just like out in front. I love that. And also That's you can cool. add your own colors and schemes and like do your theme stuff. You would I love it. On, I was doing something with Mark the other day and he was just like, you really need to up your terminal game, man. And now I'm realizing that I just, the things I don't know uh, are, should I shouldn't be shocked. I should know that I don't know these things. Uh, all right, let's see. What else do we got? Um, oh, my status H theming oh these are all for iterm what's iterm iterm is another like a terminal this website is she's a wee bit dated i'm always scared of big download buttons mm -hmm. i don't know why maybe it's just a me thing oh there we go screenshots split panes is nice maybe you can do that in stock uh jamie always tells me to use uh like tmux and using all of that and i'm just like i don't want to <laughs> auto complete in here as well i mean so if you're watching this stream like up your terminal game it's not just me i feel like there are others that are in this world that are also need to up their terminal game so i feel like i i now need to go and like dig deeper into this see this is it with the web the like the tldr newsletters there's always like one nugget right there's one mm -hmm. nugget takeaway from these at least Chen's algorithm, Node.js performance. Yeah, optimizing Node.js performance. Stop using Node.js and use another runtime. That's like mm -hmm. the optimization key. Uh, site claims to have harvested. Oh, that's Four billion Discord chats. Wow. Spy.pets harvested more than 4 billion public messages made by 620 million users on more than 14,000 Discord chat servers and is selling access did they just scrape it? How did I they get so. it? Uh, like, uh, it's doable. I think a lot of the Discord stuff is kind of on uh, CDN. So it's like, you could kind of go and find it, but... Damn. It, this, that's, is, this is... That's interesting. That's big. But are they are they specifically like Red Hat hackers? Or I are they know. selling them? Oh, no, they're selling them. They're selling yeah. them. So no, they're definitely not. I am not visiting their website. There's absolutely no way that I'm going to visit a company that scrapes things when I'm going to visit their website. Mm -hmm. uh, that's interesting. Okay, let's look at a, let's look at one more. We got a couple more minutes. Let's look at one more TLDR. Um, where are you hiding? Uh, oh, I'm in the wrong window. Um, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I see. I need to pull this off of here and open it on. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not opening my email on this stream. That's not going to end well. Oh, yeah, this is one thing. Okay, so this is actually... Um, okay, no, that's not what I want to do. Um, view. Okay. Uh, this one talks... So the title of this one is Devon AI Debunked. So we talked about this earlier. Um, so this YouTube video 
is actually this video that talks about all of the things that are not real about um Devin and like they actually go through like a 25 minute video where they walk through like Devin not actually like doing what Devin says they do like this is a really good video I it's funny I watched reaction videos to this video so I haven't watched the entire thing but every reaction video that I've seen is like this video did such a good job at like walking through the challenge or the the issues that existed there mm -hmm. but they're also raising right now um the company that created Devin is going out and doing a fundraising round so that doesn't look too well that yeah that does not look good right that would be that's a that, that could kill the fundraising round in a second um browser security bugs arc product market what oh this is interesting we are arc fans around here product market fit hair on fire oh this is on the sequoia site that's why future vision okay this is i like this idea hair on fire customer wants to help me now category crowded must overcome noise hard fact it is what it is stagnant habit yeah i think a lot of people live there mm -hmm. um future vision yeah right non-existent disbelief i like this kind of where do you think dev cycle is on here it's a good question like if uh... we compared this to dev cycle I don't, uh, I can't really think of one thing. Like, are they a market? Market is, uh, I think, hard fact at the moment. Yeah, I think I so too. Say. Yeah. I think, I think when Launch Darkly got into this space, I think it they was... were in the, they were in the future vision. Mm -hmm. And now we're kind of in the hard fact stage of like, there's some other well-established players that are out there and like people are not necessarily looking for something new they just want kind of more of the same yeah this is so cool i actually yeah i definitely think oh. you know what we are right in the middle yeah yeah so like i guess that's what they're saying like depending on the market you want to have a product that kind of like value proposition matches yeah i like this way to go arc is this the mm. same this is arc arc right yes i believe so browser let me just browser oh i guess not maybe not the arc product market fit oh oh this Ooh. is like uh is a company building immersion so I interesting i thought mm -hmm. this was talking about arc arc but no yep. it's talking about some like sequoia initiative well mm -hmm. you got us in you pulled us in tldr we thought you were something else and blammo um i'll put this in chat actually for anybody that's interested um, but it's still good information it's good oh, stuff. it's very good information i'm very interested in that so let me put this in chat for people if they're wanting to go and do anything here uh there you go uh all right what else we got um uh, product market fit no wait that was it oh did i just like skip over most of this one i definitely did i definitely oh because yeah. i was looking for the devon ai stuff mm -hmm. one line of code caused a 60 million dollar loss wow 1990s and 60 million dollars in 1990 was a very different than six like that's like that's a billion dollars today what was the line of code did they tell us oh here we go the problem root call was traced by coding error in a software update implemented across network switches c program involved a misplaced break statement within nested conditional statements leading to data overwrites and system resets well ring receive buffer not empty that tells you hey like these small changes like what's crazy is like even like even today mm -hmm. you wouldn't necessarily this wouldn't get caught by any uh it would get caught by tests but like if you weren't running effective testing like you this wouldn't get caught anywhere else like uh, and the other thing is like you have to run tests on more than just your like happy path yeah and like kind of you need to have the mindset of breaking it for you to catch stuff like this yeah Ooh, 60 just... million dollars yeah that that software engineer was not having a good day what was the fix nine engineers nine hours to fix the system it's not bad nine hours mm -hmm. to get the system back online 
wasn't but it took bad. two weeks of rigorous code reading testing and replication to actually understand where the bug was yeah see this is where feature flags this is where feature flags are there right had they had a feature flag wrapped around or in that function they could have just turned it off in production in real time they also would have been doing real-time testing and they probably would have identified this earlier yeah it was um, also 1990s i think it was very yeah. new to i do like this idea like in reality it wasn't one line of code that brought down a system it was a failure in processes yes. that's so true right like paradigm mm -hmm. shift in kind of the way the way that your the the system works oh i love that all right, I think we got time for like maybe one more article before we wrap things up. Mm -hmm. Use transition. Anything in here that looks good to you? You're interested in? Oh yeah. I, sorry, I'm interested in this one because this has been talked about a lot recently. Um, this idea of like selling to developers, but developers don't actually buy things. Yeah. Yeah. That's so <laughs> true. Engineer wants to buy a fifty dollar book. They need forms signed from their <laughs> VP in triplicate. It's true. Next.js, zero sheets. Oh, that's interesting. I saw this uh, the other day and I'm like, a lot of people already like, this is kind of your way of just using a database. Yeah, this is what Airtable did. This was like Airtable's mm -hmm. go to market is they had like, it was the same as Google Sheets, but they had like a super powerful API so that you could just like use that as your database. Yeah, like a lot of people already use Google Sheets as databases, right? There's like a lot of people that I know. Yeah, but for their application, how are they how are they connecting to it? Just like through Google, like just Google's, using Google's yeah. a lot. You can use it and connect to it. Uh, yeah, I, the last company that I worked at was kind of focusing on a lot of stuff. They there was like a use case for using Google Sheets uh, instead of Salesforce. I got okay. Of, yep. Yeah, I can totally see that. Yeah, this is interesting. I'd be interested in exploring this. Potentially yeah. on a future stream. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll go and test. We'll go and test. Not that it has anything to do with feature flags. But that's not what this, these streams are about. These are yes. about looking at cool code. Um, yeah. All right. I have a question. Uh, yeah. I have a question for you. Do you think yes. that if we were to come back to this, like this topic about AI in, uh, in maybe a couple months or more than a couple months, where do you think the, where do you think it will lie? I like think so in terms of our tiering here that we yeah. decided on. So yes. I think, let me just pull us back over here. Uh, so I think that we would probably see chat GPT um, improve. Like, I think it's going to go higher. That said, that said, um, I do think that Gemini is good. Like the team that's working on Gemini is going to be so focused on like leveling up their yeah. um their results that i think and i think we saw them do some interesting things with the code so i think gemini gemini is probably gonna be chomping at the heels also i feel like at least one of these companies will have been acquired by one of the other companies okay. like perplexity will have been acquired or claude will have been acquired like one of the smaller ones because like mm -hmm. gemini is not going to get acquired yeah co-pilot like none of the bing stuff is so it's really like i think perplexity might get bought that's fair that's so, that is a good that's a good enough thing yeah. uh i i hope to see co-pilot get out of the c tier or the basically f tier for uh for our use cases yeah right? i agree i hope I so too Gemini can definitely get into the S tier. It was it could it had one of the best codes, but just like a little tweaks. Yeah, yeah I would more, totally agree. More uses would kind of just put it in a different place. Yeah, I agree. I'm impressed though. I actually I really like this. I think the idea of having the agenda was really good too. I really like that part. I think that added something for this stream mm -hmm. too. Um, I like the backgrounds. We've figured this out, man. We're here. We've like we've got this. We've got this working. Um, yeah, perfect. So, uh, so today, what did we do? Uh, we looked at, um, I should actually just share my screen again. Even though I just stopped sharing my screen, I'm gonna now start sharing my screen again. Come on, StreamYard. Here, let me, let me send you the... Present, share screen, share screen. Entire the tier screen. list as well. All right, you should you want to use it. 
All right, so today uh, we looked at what feature flags are. We looked at uh, we looked at Astro. We played around with that. Um, didn't quite work out because it was a little bit too much. Like we we tried to give our our AI a little bit too much, and it was struggling already. Maybe Perplexity could or Gemini could have done better with it, but we were starting with GitHub Copilot, and it wasn't up to the task. Um, we looked at ChatGPT. Uh, we looked at Perplexity, we looked at Gemini, we looked at Claude. Claude wasn't available just because it's where it's not available in Canada right now, which is where we are. Uh, we looked at the TLDR newsletter for the last couple of weeks. So there was some awesome stuff in there. Um, and uh, yeah, we did our tier list, which I'm going to pull up. Let me just pull this down for one second and grab this. And let's grab this tier list and put it in that doc so we can see it. Uh, let's close that down. All right, let's add this tier list over here. And then our tier list that we came up with, um, and this is like not, it's te not technically for AI and programming. It's like for feature flag cleanup, I guess is really what it is. And yeah, but uh, yeah, think, S yeah. I would say one thing, I think cleaning up code is one of the, uh, one of the harder things to do. I agree. I agree. I think it's like, it's a big challenge, which is why none of the feature flag vendors have figured it out yet. So I totally agree. We, we have something. We have something. We do. We do. Our CLI, our CLI does code cleanup. Okay. It's it's really, it's really good at it too. At least Go for check it out, people. people. Go check yeah. it out. Um, yeah. So S tier, we have perplexity. Definitely top, top S tier was perplexity. Chat GPT 3.5 was pretty close. Um, and I expect four would have been even better. Um, then we had Bing Copilot uh, was uh, good, but added some complexity to our code that we weren't super happy with. Um, B tier uh, didn't work out of the box, but it was some good and interesting code was Gemini. Um, and then sort of our C tier was our Copilot built into, um, built into VS Code. Just wasn't up to the task today. Uh, maybe we had a bad day maybe we maybe we met copilot on a bad day but uh yeah i don't know uh i think we'll we'll have to i, I feel like we should we should give this like a couple months and then like maybe revisit this in like june and see yeah. how it is yeah i like that's that true. um yeah so i think that's i think that's gonna be it for us today everybody we uh we looked at a lot of ai i think we had some fun we uh we got to look at some cool stories as well today which we haven't gotten to do in the last couple of these streams so um Parth, final word for anybody out there who's looking to use AI to support their coding journey. Don't trust it fully. Just use it as a tool and not as like, yeah, use it like know that know what you want to get out of it, but you need to kind of be aware of like, it will give you exactly what you ask for. I love it. Use it sparingly. It's an assistant, not a replacement. Yes, it is an assistant, not a replacement. Exactly. All right. So with that, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in, hanging out with us for the last couple of hours. This has been amazing. If you enjoyed watching us live code, um, I'm actually going to be back in an hour um, with Will from OneSignal um, talking about and uh, doing some uh, some extension development. So um, go grab yeah. some lunch. That's what I'm going to go and do. Um, and then we're going to be building some extensions uh, in, uh, in Leaf PHP. So it's going to be a good stream. But um, Parth, as always, an absolute pleasure um thanks for being my co-host with the most um and uh we'll be back next month everybody so stay tuned for more information on uh, on what we've got in store yes all right see you later everybody bye parth bye everybody have a great rest of your day and hopefully we'll see a lot of you in an hour bye goodbye don't go in there they're having the let's try to figure out what customers want meeting again. It's gotten a little weird. Signups are strong, but adoption of key features remains stagnant. What do you do? We got our third top PR. Yeah, we have to. I, that's our only choice. Okay. We cast merge on the PR for the new dashboard. Oh, no. Your actions have caused the company to go viral for the wrong reason. <gasps> God. Oh. oh no, what do we do? Roll for initiative. New features shouldn't be left to a roll of the dice. Use DevCycle to ship with low risk and instant rollbacks. Unrolls, rerolls. How do we make this into a dice pun?